Hi, my name is Connor Gibbons, and I'm a first year post-professional master's student here at the University of South Carolina. And today, I'm going to demonstrate the Stepson's maneuver for a reduction of the glenohumeral joint. So first off, you want to um, notice that there is a dislocation of the shoulder first before doing the maneuver. And before you even attempt the maneuver, you want to check neuromuscular integrity and make sure that you perform the maneuver properly. And first thing you want to do is take a towel for cushioning of the clavicle for the patient. And you'll want to place it right under the clavicle as so. Give them some support. And they're going to be lying prone on the table as they already are. And with their arm hanging off, you're going to provide them a, about a 10 pound weight. So that way the joint's going to fall back in place when the muscles around it, the uh, joint will relax from the spasm and the joint will fall in place. For this instance, I have a 10 pound kettlebell and I'll place it into their hands and have the patient relax throughout the process. Take this, hold on to it. And you'll want them to hold that for about two minutes. And once they notice that they feel a uh, sensation of the joint moving back in, you'll want to check neurovascular uh, sensation and integrity again. And then if you need to, you can send them for a referral for imaging and go from there. And that is a sense of maneuver. Yes, Bob. Yeah, I do.